Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again. Today I'm going to show you how you can do this 4 step infographics in just PowerPoint. So without any further ado, let's jump to the video. So here you can see, we have these two templates here. Both looks identical, but this has a lot more shadows and it has a little bit of gradients and it's more of a flat design. The concern of today's tutorial, basically to make how to make this shape, Arranging this text, these are just simple text box you can place over it. So I'm not going to explain those. I'll be just covering how you can make this kind of shapes. Actually, these are different shapes clubbed together to form a circle. So without any further ado, let me start the video. So I'll take a new slide and anything here, you can just come to layout and you just take a blank layout. So what you need to do first, come to the drawing tab. Here you can see you have circle or oval option here. Press shift and stretch it so that you'll get a perfect circle. Once you get the circle, come to format up to align option, align it to center and align it to middle. Now select the circle, press ctrl D and again do the same, align it to center and align it to middle. Now you can see both are overlapping each other so what we have to do, press ctrl and shift and drag it inside so that you will get perfect circle and the dragging will be about the center. So I will reduce it to a decent big. So you can just quickly note down the size. Let us take a same size so that uh, we'll be working on the same page. So 13 by 13 and again we'll align it to center and just I'll quickly take this. So it looks fine to me 8 by 8 and again align it to center and align it to middle. So I'll just quickly take shape fill. I'll give some other color so that I can see it easily and I'll select everything under the format tab. Come to the shape outline and give no outline. Now again come to the drawing tab, take rectangle. Now we need to do two rectangles. So first one goes here, it's done. Again I'll press ctrl D to make a duplicate of it. And we'll just stretch it here about when it reaches the center. And we'll reduce this size until it reaches this circle. Select this rectangle, press ctrl and tap on the right arrow key once. Same way select this rectangle, press the ctrl key and tap the up key once. Now select everything, come to format, merge shapes and select fragment. Now we have different fragments here. What all we don't need, we'll just delete that. So I will first select this. We don't need this. Press delete to delete. We don't need this. We even don't need the circle. And we don't need this thing. So I'll, be, I'll select every, these three by pressing control and I'll delete this. And if in fact I don't need this also. So I'll select that and delete. There are few things which we need to delete. They, they, these are the part of trimming. So this small thing we don't need. And here also we don't need. So we are now left with two shapes. Select these two, come to shape outline, make it no outline and then come to format and do union. So we are now ready with the our shape. Now quickly what I'll do, I'll take a circle and I'll give the same dimension as we have given for the small circle which was 8 cm, 8 by 8 and again I will align it to center and align it to middle. So just what we have to do now, we have to match this with this, looks, looks okay. Again press ctrl D, I'll press 3 times because we need 4 shapes like this. So I, we need to rotate this, so I'll press shift and drag it like this and I'll place it carefully here. So I'll just zoom in so you can just press ctrl and the mouse wheel it looks fine to me. Again I'll select the next shape, I'll rotate it. And I'll take the fourth shape and I'll place it here. Not a problem, we can't see anything now. Now I'll delete the circle. Now we'll quickly color this. So our first color I'll give green. It's all your choice. Second I'll give blue. Third I'll give red. And the final orange. So here we are ready with the shape. Now you it's all your wish you can play around with it now in case you want to give say you don't like this one you just want to give a little bit space you always have the option you just move it a little bit this side and every every object you just move a little bit outwards so you have now space between the objects just try to manage this bit adjust with keyboard arrow keys and here we go we are ready with the shapes the only thing left is you can just quickly take some icons here you can put so for saving the time, I'll just do it too quickly. So I'll just place these icons here. So it's pretty simple to make this kind of infographics templates. Uh, you can use it for your presentations. And here you can see some samples which you can you play around. 
in order to give direction to your audience you can put some arrow here so that they'll be moving from here to title 1 to title 2 3 4 like that so that's all for today's tutorial i have few more tutorials available on how to make infographics you can click on the i icon on the top right side of your screen to see those tutorials thank you see you in next video